we are going to go over basics of the Linux file system and moving around in the file system. One of the first things we want to talk about is what is a directory? Now, most people come from a Windows world or from a GUI world where a directory is basically a folder. It's just a different way of, of talking about a folder. Um, the command line interface forever has used the term terminology directory, whereas the GUI has almost always used a folder because it was easier as a visual metaphor to understand what a directory was. And also, we have to understand what files are. Files are just your data. They're your files. Um, they're your Word documents. They're your pictures. They're the config files that make your system run. In Linux, everything's a file, and everything can be referenced through a file. I'm not going to touch too much on what that means, but just have it in the back of your mind that everything inside of Linux is either a file or a directory, and even directories are special sorts of files. Now, one of the, the most important things is the differences between Linux and Windows when it comes to the file system root. Uh, we can compare the root of the file system kind of like uh, your C colon backslash, or when you go to computer on Windows and look at your, your computer and you see your local hard drive C, that's comparable to the root of the file system on Linux. And the root of the file system on Linux is just denoted by a single slash. And this single forward slash is sort of like C, although when you have multiple, file, uh, multiple hard drives or devices on Windows, they show up as different drive letters. Well, in Linux, everything is kind of aggregated underneath this single root file system. Now, inside of this single root file system, there are a lot of folders at, or, or directories in that, uh, that root directory. To find out kind of just where you are in the file system or where am I at the current moment, you type in PWD for print working directory. Now, since I've logged into this system as root, it goes to my home folder, which is denoted by this little squiggly or tilde, as the root of the file system and root folder. The root folder is the home folder for the root user account, which is why it's called root. Now, to browse around the file system, I can use ls to list out what's inside the file system, or within, within the current directory of the file system. Now, ls takes several options, one of which is dash l to do a long list or show extra information about... Uh, what's being listed out. I can also do ls-lh to turn this file size into something meaningful to me as a human. I can also do a dash a to see hidden files. Uh, so ls-a shows me hidden files. Now each one of these uh, arguments can be added to ls uh, additively, so you just have a dash LAH, or alternatively, I could do LS dash L dash A dash H, and it would give me the same thing. But for simplicity, you can just say LS dash LAH. Now, in Red Hat based systems like Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Fedora, or CentOS, Scientific Linux, or Oracle Linux, you'll have an alias to LL which stands for ls-l. This makes it a little easier when you're looking through directories. Instead of having to type ls-l, you can just type ll, and it'll do the exact same thing. Now, I can also move around between directories by doing a cd. I can do cd slash to the root of my file system and do an ls there to see what's in the root of my file system. Now, this is quite different than the Windows file system, where you would have, for example, a Windows folder and maybe a couple other folders under there by default, Linux has a lot more by default. Several of them are very useful to the function, and so it's important not to play around with them too much or delete them, but they're very important to the operation of the system. <clears throat> and we can actually do a CD into them, like, for example, etc. And I can do a CD into that directory and I'll ask it and see what's in there as well. So 
just basically we went over what a directory is, it's basically a folder. We went over what a file is, which is your data, which when you do an ls, it shows you which files and directories are in a folder. We went over kind of what the file system is and what the root of the file system is and how a little bit of how it's different from Windows. Showed where, how to, to see where you're at in the file system by doing a pwd and some basics of how to browse around by doing ls, ll, and cd.